What's up, y'all? It's Sunday night, and um, I'm working on my stuff, and I'm just super ridiculously, embarrassingly excited about what I'm working on. So today, um, or yesterday morning, I started building out the, um, the actual framework for the um, ATS, or the Applicant Tracking System for Kinetic Management Systems. And what it is, is it's, um, if I, um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. My name is Jason Latrell, I'm a management consultant for bars and restaurants in New York City, and I help bars and restaurants uh, make a ton of money and, um, and get staff that loves to work there. And so I've started building out this Applicant Tracking System, and, um, and it's really, really nasty. And so what it does is it just makes sure that all Applicants are, are just red hot about why they're applying. They understand everything that there is to know about the bar or restaurant. Um, they can ask any questions that they want. And, um, and then the system will receive their applications from a survey and then walk them through a whole process. Not only is it great for the applicant, but it's also great for the, the management because we are tracking every step and documenting every step of the way. And I spoke to a, a friend of mine who is a restaurant a tor attorney and often represents the restaurants from lawsuits uh, for uh, employment related stuff and for contract stuff and for just various other stuff uh, but a lot of times bars and restaurants they get they get sued for for dumb stuff I mean it's not always dumb I mean sometimes there's like really uh, important claims there but he represents bars and restaurants for things that should be documented like the like the hiring process for instance or for like the staff management or reviews and, and all this other stuff and so what I'm doing is I'm baking in um, a, a bulletproof process where um, the applicants understand exactly what's happening, what's happening next, and, um, and it allows for the management to run through um, specific steps to make sure that they're doing everything legit and above board, and it's transparent to leadership and ownership and um, stakeholders just to make sure that um, they're doing everything the right way, which shields them from a considerable amount of liability. And I was doing some research on, on the cost of getting sued, and it's crazy. It's, it's an extinction level event for a lot of bars and restaurants to get sued. And so like a lot of the times they carry EPLI insurance and all kinds of wacky stuff. But this would document the process. So every piece of communication you've ever had with the staff would always be in there. And so everything from recruiting to training, onboarding, um, uh, uh, just, just reviews and just making sure that people are excited about their job from the entire time that they work there and also offboarding and, um, and making sure that, that, but but it goes way further than that because there's a, an entire learning management piece. There's like there's like legally signed, uh, legally signed documents. Um, and then there's like um, an internal staff community where leadership can do things like, um, you know, daily um, like shift reports or pre-shift reports or um, disciplinary actions or stuff like that. Like, and all this stuff can be documented and documented and documented to make sure that, um, and like all these documents can live with that person that works in the company to make sure that they're covered. Uh, but I remember my days when I was bartending and it was like, I was a bartender for a really long time, like 10 years or so. Uh, uh, and, um, and uh, none of this stuff happened. And so what, if you go, ever go to work at like Domino's or Friday, I use these examples all the time of these very, you know, nationally chained restaurants and stuff like that, but they have some version of this to protect themselves because they have the resources to not get sued all the time for the same stuff. And so this is the resource that I want to provide for independent bars and restaurants that are doing it, you know, probably at least half a million dollars a year, because if you're not doing half a million dollars a year, then you probably have other bigger problems. And, um, and so like this may not be ready for you yet, but if you're doing more than that, then this is the thing that you need to help you scale and grow your business. Because if you are, if, if you don't have a, a pipeline, if you're not always recruiting and looking for people um, to replace the staff that is churned out or, or got fired or, or they quit, they moved on to another job, um, then you are in a very difficult position all the time. Uh, because there's a causal relationship between staff that loves their jobs, that know how to do their jobs, and how much they sell. And if there's nobody there to sell stuff for you, if you're constantly training, then it's going to cost you an enormous amount of money. I think the national average is between five and fifteen thousand dollars to onboard a new employee, regardless of the level. So the cost of not doing something like this is extremely high. So what we want to do is we want to constantly be recruiting on all channels: Instagram, Facebook Messenger. Uh, Google business profile, text messages, website, chat widget, everything. We want to always be recruiting so that whenever the, the time comes when you're looking for a bartender or a bartender trainee or a server or whatever, you send out the bat signal to everybody in your database, um, which could be hopefully hundreds of people. 
and and you say, you say hey we're looking for bartenders would you like to would you like to apply and it all it's all very personalized and um and before they apply you can be like this is exactly what we're looking for this is exactly how we're doing now a fun little little addendum to this is that um i was like my mind kind of wanders sometimes and i started building out a, a supplier management system so if you have suppliers that are constantly coming in and trying to sell you stuff which is great you need your suppliers you have a you know you really, literally depend on your suppliers so people coming to sell you stuff is essential for the business um but this is a way to manage them so you're like saying like hey listen like um here or you know go to mywebsite.com slash suppliers and um and it'll tell you exactly what we buy how we buy it what we what kind of values we buy and then here's a calendar to book an appointment with us and so if you you could set your own office hours you can be like listen i take i only take meetings on tuesdays and thursdays from 4 to 6 p.m 15 minute increments but at those times you will have my undivided attention but every other time uh, i will probably refer you to this website and the, and the magic of that is that you now have a database so, so if, it, if somebody books your time as a beverage manager culinary manager whatever it is if somebody books your time then we are going to tag them as a special list as a, we call it a smart list and um and you can send out um, uh, what seems like a personalized email or text blast saying hey we're looking for xyz we're looking for these sponsors um and um, or uh, these are the kind of products that we're looking for right now i've heard this nasty story of a um of a nightclub buyer who used to send every single one of their orders to every single one of their suppliers and what that did is it created this kind of like frenzy of activity among the suppliers to be like okay they're going through this much of vodka they're going through this much gin and what they would do is they would um is they would uh get they would entertain a lot of offers for those particular products which would create this kind of competition for that spaces so um doing something like that would, is interesting if that's what you wanted to do but um generally speaking saying like saying to all your having a database of your suppliers that stays with the business that those contacts don't leave with the, with the manager they stay with the business and um and that's a very very valuable asset as well so um it's all like there's so much stuff i'm going to do i'm so excited about it like i just like my like my hands are shaking i'm so excited and um and uh what we're going to do is just um i think it's just going to be something that's never been built before and i I just can't wait to I just can't wait to get uh, get to get it finished because um, by the end of the day I just had a second coffee it's like there it's like five o'clock in the afternoon and I just had a coffee so I'm gonna be up all night working on this stuff um, and I'm just so excited about because I, I don't think anything like this exists and um, and that is uh, very romantic and, and sexy to me so I'm excited about it um, I will see you in the next video oh if you want to see some live builds um, I'll give you some product updates on some specific things some specific product features that I've been building um, including conversation AI um, and um, conversation AI and uh, just kind of an overview of the uh, applicant tracking system. All right, so see you next time. Bye.